life? Is it full of obstacles or is it full of opportunities? Let's get inside the meditation tent and talk about it. It's all a matter of perspective, how you look at your life. You can look at your life as full of obstacles, or you can see it as full of opportunities to advance. The thing we have to realize is that the universe has our back. It's actually working for us. Everything in life is working for us, not against us. Life isn't happening to us, it's happening through us. And it's all a matter of perspective. It's all a matter of how you see life, how you see your place in life. It can be full of obstacles. When you look back on your life, you can think, oh my God, my life's just been filled with so many obstacles that I've had to overcome. Or you can look at it as those were opportunities. Or maybe you looked at it in the past as being full of obstacles. But from this moment forward, you can start to look at it as full of opportunities. What if you designed your life this way before you came here? You designed the blueprint in such a way that as you're living, as you're going through your daily life, you're going to have multiple opportunities to advance, opportunities to prove your divinity to yourself. Because the truth is, you are a part of God. You have a unique perspective that only you can provide. And that's a very magical thing. It's amazing to think that we are all parts of God, and we're making our way through this life, through a series of opportunities, opportunities for awakening. Life is not against us, it is for us. And the number one thing we need to understand is that the universe is on our side. The universe has our back. And so if you're gonna start looking at life as full of opportunities, rather than obstacles, that's going to require you to raise your personal vibration. Because that's one of the seven hermetic principles, is that nothing is at rest. Everything is vibrating. Some things are vibrating at a low, very dense vibration. Other things are vibrating at a high vibration. And when you see life as being filled with one obstacle after another, that's actually a very low vibrational way to live. And so what happens is, as you're vibrating at that low level, you are literally attracting other low vibrational things. So if you want a life filled with things that make you happy, things that, you know, give you joy and peace, you've got to raise your vibration to that level. And it starts with how you see your life. And like I said, if you see your life as full of obstacles, that's gonna keep you in a low vibration and you are in fact gonna have one obstacle after another. So the idea is that we need to raise our vibration. Well, how do we do that? There's all kinds of videos and books that you can read, that you can watch online about raising your vibration. And there's lots of different ways to do that. But the quickest way to raise your vibration is number one, start looking at your life as full of opportunities and not obstacles. That's changing your perspective. And what happens is when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And that's just a fact. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at start to change. 
So the universe has our back. That's number one. You've got to realize that. The universe is on your side. And you designed your life this way, full of opportunities for advancement, for growth, for learning. This whole thing that we call life, this is a school with one opportunity after another to learn. And that's why we're here. We're here to awaken to who we are. And who we are is God. And the only way you can get to that realization of yourself is to start seeing these opportunities that you put into the plan. You put these things here. But it's very easy to get sucked into a low vibration because there's lots of low vibrational things around us. But if we want to attract the better things in life, we want to draw into our life the things that give us joy, happiness, and peace, and love, we have got to raise our vibration. Love is a very high vibration. Happiness and joy, those are very high vibrational things. This is why the Bible says a merry heart does good just like a medicine. It's a, like laughter is a high vibration. It's a, you know, it's almost like a medicine for people. And it's like, um, another thing the Bible says I've always found interesting is that a soft answer turns away wrath. And it's amazing how that works. Like if, you know, you might be at work and you're having a great day and then another coworker or your boss, your employer comes up to you and they're just in a low vibration. They're just in a bad mood and they may just be going off on you about something. Maybe something you didn't even have anything to do with, but they're just expressing this low vibration towards you. Well, you can change that or you can start vibrating at a low vibration with them and then there's going to be an argument. Your whole day is going to be thrown out of whack. Or you can introduce a higher vibration, a soft answer. Don't engage in the low vibrational argument. Just say something nice, something pleasant. Bite your tongue if you have to, but that's another way to just raise a vibration. And then the next thing you know, you're having a much better day and the little thing that had the opportunity to cause you to have a bad day or fall into a low vibration simply elevated you to where it's not even bothering you now. So people ask all the time, how do I raise my vibration? And the truth is there's thousands of ways throughout every day. There's tons of opportunities to raise your vibration, but the quickest way, and this is what I really wanted to speak about today, the quickest way to raise your vibration is to express gratitude for the current state that you're in. Be thankful right now for everything that you have. Simply be grateful for the current state that you're in. This is going to raise your vibration. And the magical thing is, is that everything in your current state is going to raise to a higher vibration as well. It's not just you, but everything in your life is going to raise the vibration. So be thankful right now for the current state that you're in. Don't look at the things that you don't have, but look at the things that you do have. I think especially us in the West here in America, we see so many people that have many more things than we have. Seems like everything works out for everyone else, but very rarely for you. That's not the right way to look at it. You not got to change your perspective. Don't look at the things that you don't have. Look at the things that you do have and just express gratitude for that. Express gratitude for the current state that you're in. You're going to raise your vibration. And it starts with how you see things. It starts with your perspective. So when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at start to change. And that is one truth that I wish I would have learned a lot earlier. You meet a lot of people in this life that just look at things in a very negative way. And if you'll look at their life, it's one negative thing after another. They wake up in the morning, 
they're mad that they got to go to work, they don't like their job, and then the next thing you know, they're dealing with rude customers, and it's just one bad thing after another, and they come home mad, they go to sleep mad, and they wake up mad, and it's just an endless cycle. So if you want to break out of that cycle, just raise your vibration right now by being grateful for your current state. My wife has been working through uh, what we looked at as an obstacle. It's a, a financial thing that she's been working on for a long time, uh, four years now. And it's just been what appeared to be one obstacle after another, trying to get this thing approved so that she could get the money that she's owed. And it just dawned on me the other day, we need to raise our vibration. And we had just basically decided like, we're just going to just forget about this. We're just gonna push it out of our mind and not even think about it. And hopefully it'll just work out when it's supposed to work out. But then I realized, um, a phone call that she had got was like, well, your case is in a very uh, difficult department and the people aren't nice, they're rude, and they take forever to get things approved and we still may have a lot of work to do. Well, this really frustrated us because it's been a four-year process already. And when this dawned on me, it was just like a, a revelation or whatever that we don't just need to leave it like that. So. The way the situation had ended was with a negative phone call and we just thought, well, we're not gonna deal with this anymore. We're just gonna push it away and it'll just work out eventually. So we left it in a low vibrational state. We were angry at the person that made the phone call. We were frustrated with the people in the office where her case is. And what we did is we stopped and we just began to express gratitude for our current state that we're in and we raised our vibration. And everything that is attached to us, everything in our current state, begin to raise. And within two days, she got a call from the very person that had been so negative, saying that it was gonna take maybe up to another year, and said, all you have to do now is just send this email and you're gonna have your money in a matter of two or three days. And that happened because we raised our current vibration. We just raised it. And everything, her case, um, and just everything in your life raises to a higher vibration. So I just want you to realize that your life is not filled with obstacles. These are opportunities for you to prove your divinity to yourself, to prove to yourself that you are God. You created this life full of one opportunity after another. So. It starts with how you look at your life. Stop looking at your life as full of obstacles. Start looking at it as being filled with opportunities because perception is reality. The way you perceive things is the way they are. And that's the magic of the universe. You can literally change everything you're looking at by changing the way you look at it. And if you can do that, you will start experiencing one opportunity after another. It's really that easy. So today, do it right now. Take a moment and feel into the gratitude of your current state of being, whatever it is. Express gratitude for it. Your vibration is going to raise and those obstacles will turn into opportunities for growth and for learning and for expanding your perception. Life is way more than you think it is. There is so much more going on. Everything is working for your benefit. So just take a moment right now and express gratitude. Try to feel it. Try to really just feel grateful that you're alive and that the universe has your back. Thank you.